we are going to assemble the bunny tail pop-up card. I've glued a couple of pieces together for the sake of time. I've already got my panels here on the base. But now we're going to prep the base. And to do that, we're going to fold this down to the top edge here on the card. And then the next score line, you're going to fold that one up and then fold this one down. So we've created this little quarter inch space. We're going to do this, <coughs> excuse me, to all four. This is an important step. If you miss gluing this down, your base will not work correctly. So you're just going to put some glue in that quarter inch space and glue this down. Because this could be a little bit thick, if you're using a good cardstock, you may have to hold it down just a few seconds longer to get it to stay. I always like to prep my base first. Well, actually, the very first thing I do is I glue my two center pieces together. This is doubled. As soon as it comes off the mat, I glue these together and put them under my mat so it has time to dry and so that it will dry hopefully flat. Um, so now we are just going to set this aside for a few minutes and work on these pieces. I got something on this. It might be like a little piece of glue. I'm not sure. Oh, it's not a mark that comes off, so that must be on the paper. Where is the bottom to my bunny? This is not going well right to start. I wonder if I forgot to cut it. I'm checking under my mat. stop and recut a piece that I might have missed cutting. It looks like I missed cutting it. So if you'll bear with me for just a moment while I find some white paper. there. I'll, oh. oh, that's funny. I thought this was a head and this is not a head. I do have it. This is my bunny tail because I cut all of my cards out at the same time before um, I start assembling and doing the videos. right here. 
And then we have our bunny tail. And I am going to use a very used up ink pad. Hopefully it has enough left to do this. Because I don't really want to color color this, but I do want to hit the edges so that it will um, pop just like that. <clears throat> Since my glue had dried up a little bit, I think that I want to use my foam tape on this. And because my glue had dried up a little, before I put it on, it was easy to get it right back off. The only thing I will caution you on when adding dimension to the pop-up cards is not to put dimension in those first two inches because that goes down inside the card <coughs> and you will have trouble getting your card um, flat. So this piece is done. And I have already glued my feet together. I'm just going to hit these edges lightly. Again, just, just enough that it kind of shadows the edges. And because it's white on white, and that just doesn't show up well. I think I'm going to hit this edge too. Laying pads so old it's kind of fraying. And then we're just going to put our feet on. And then we do have some grass here to put to put on on the piece that's on the back if you want if you want grass on the back side just cut an additional one of these but if you're using textured paper don't forget to flip it because you'll need it to be the opposite <coughs> This one is for the back. And we also want to put together our little flower here. And I'm just going to kind of curl the leaves 
And then for the flower, I'm just going to use the palm of my hand and The flower goes on the piece with the feet. Whoops. We're just going to this right on here. You just don't want to go over this edge here because um, it'll get stuck going inside the card. Because again this these two inches go down into the base of the card. Okay, so now we're going to pull our base in, and this one goes in the, the slot that is right on the fold, and then your feet, and I was afraid of that. I did not get my flower up high enough, so the other thing to be mindful of is that it's not lower than the edge. If you wanted, again, you know, you can you can cut two of these to put on the back side, but this leaves you a nice spot for journaling. So now I'm going to take these out and lay them down this way because that's how I'll have to put them together. And then you just want to slide slide this piece through. And then flip it over and fold this and glue it down. Okay, and we want to do the same thing with this one, but on this side. It's going to be upside down. Come on. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky getting it to go through the bottom slot. This one is a little bit different. This one, we're just going to glue this bottom tab to that piece. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here on the tab. And we only want to glue. this piece to it. <clears throat> and you'll notice at this point when I push up 
that this top is not lifting. And the reason for that is you have to put glue on this tab right under and glue that also to the center tab. And now when I push up, this lifts. So if your card is not seeming to function properly, it could be that you forgot to glue that tab down. And now to finish it off, we want the top tab straight down and the bottom tab folded up. And we're going to put glue on these tabs. And we're going to glue them to the other side to the tabs on the other side. You don't want to put too much glue there because you don't want it seeping out and getting places that aren't supposed to be glued together. And then we are just going to glue this together. And it gets a little bit bulky because you've got all your layers in here. And this is why I suggest not putting foam tape in this two inch section. Because if you have foam tape in there too, it would, it would just be causing you problems. So now as we look inside, we can see our tabs are glued together and our pieces are glued to the bottom so that when we push this card, our layers go up and down. And then, so you can see here that the handle is right behind this tab. So make sure that you have your tab over your handle and don't put so much glue that you wind up gluing that handle to the inside of your card. And we just wanna put our glue here and close it up. Now I did notice when mine cut, I had my paper too close to the edge of my mat. And I knew, that's why I stopped my glue, I knew I had this space, but I didn't think it would matter because I had the tab to compensate. But yours will come to the edge unless you do what I did and you cut the edge of your paper off. And then there you have it. Here is the bunny tail pop-up card. Thank you for joining me.